Okay. Hi, everybody. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm doing this indoor on my kitchen table uh, because I'm afraid the wind might pick up outside and I'm working with resin. So anyway, I got this uh, from Amazon. It's big. <laughs> it's like uh, 14 by 14, you know, round. <laughs> So I'm going to make, I guess you would use it for like, you know, you could make a tray out of it or something or just, you know, something to lay down and then put your coasters on it and stuff. Uh, you can also use it for a centerpiece or something. Anyway, it came with some of the, the coasters too. They're kind of deep. Uh, the only thing I was kind of discouraged with is there's this Nick. Well, it's not a nick. Do you see that? They come like that. And so that's going to show up underneath. But I can always put another coat on it or just leave it be. Um, I do want to return it <laughs> and complain about it because every time I get one of those from Amazon, it's like that. But I really like the piece and it it was twenty dollars for the set for this and for that and so well I'm gonna go ahead and do one I can always buff that out too so we'll see how she turns out <laughs> uh, I made a coaster like this once before I'm gonna do another one like it because I liked it so much and yes I'm gonna attempt using bags again I thought last time I did this coaster, I used bags. It still turned out good, so I guess it's okay if it, I don't get it perfect. And you don't have to, you know, when you're doing these flower ones. So I'm going to be using alcohol ink, the wild plum. And I'm using turquoise. And I'm using Prussian blue. Um, I'm going to be also using the casting craft for the white. And... I'm using the resin from the epoxy resin store. It is the general oh, use. Tiana, come on now. It's the general use premium quality. Okay. I do have a coupon code in my description if you're ever interested in trying it. Um, I like it. The, um, the only thing that I know is when you do it, doing coasters, you do need to uh, heat gun the bubbles out, even the micro bubbles, because letting it sit doesn't quite exactly get all the micro bubbles out. So that's why I'll apply low heat with the heat gun, and then I let it set for a little bit. I torch out the little bubbles, and this is a very low flame. I don't even think it's gonna stay lit, which won't really matter. And then I tore heat gun it one more time, but on low, and that usually makes them nice and clear. So it's so all just that little extra heat gun, heat gunning gets them clear. And other than that, I'm gonna get started. Okay. Hope you enjoy watching this. Okay, so I'll show you how I do this real quick. Just a little tiny bit of resin for the colors you don't need a lot and these always come out real slow in here some people cut off the tips that's gonna be my white one it's gonna be one of my colored I squeeze it real hard too okay should be enough. I did three in here and that's pretty good where I want it. So I'm going to stir that a little. Now, get this one. I'll shake my Prussian blue. Just put like two drops. Start with 
Or last time I didn't need much. That's good. This one, are we in the camera? <laughs> it's hard when I don't have everything set up the way I used to. So that's pretty good. Don't want it too dark on that turquoise. And the plum. I might put one more in there. I can't remember if I did how much I did last time. Except for this one here, I'm going to put just a little bit more Persian blue. One, two drops, that's it. That's a little better. There we go. Okay, so that's how I do it. Okay, now I'm going to just put them in these baggies. Okay, so I put my resin in there and it's not all the way to the top because obviously this takes a lot of resin. So I can always do a top coat. So what I do is just heat it up a little on low heat with my heat gun. Okay, and then I'm just going to let that set until it's completely cooled off. In the meantime, I'm going to wrap these up. Okay. Didn't realize how much that would take. Anyway, I have some of this, like, foil, the silver foil stuff. In the middle. Don't want to hold too much, but a decent amount. There, I think that's good. That's not too much. Well. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and if you've seen my last one, oh yeah, I was told don't snip it and then squeeze it at the same time. Okay. So a little snip off of it. Oh my. There we go again, guys. <laughs> but, I told you I wasn't going to be perfect with this. Oops, coming out the top. <laughs> well. It's okay. Let's see, do I need any more? Uh, still a little bit here. Just to make it even, because I messed up. There. <laughs> Let's do the white. I thought I was going to have better control over this this time. I guess not. Yeah, I would have used 
this if I had some. I wonder how this could turn out. I think I snipped my hole too big on that one. I did. Oh well. too hot. Look at these big old globs right here. Man. And I'm not scraping the bottom. feel positive about this just like that one but you never know I think it's got too much silver in there uh, you know what I could do is I could use one of my pipettes if I could find it There. Um, now I'm just going to hit her with the torch a little, not the heat gun. So I have to do the small coasters now. I guess I have to go through that same thing again. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, there she is. Let's see what she turns out like. Um, I'll do the this coasters off camera because you guys don't need to see that again. <laughs> All right. So stay tuned to see this. Um. I probably will put a top coat on here, though, because there's plenty of room for one more. Okay? Okay. So, here we go with the coasters. I had found some paint bottles I had. <laughs> and these, again, are the silver foil stuff. These are big pieces though. There. 
there. Not much. <laughs> okay. So I already torched them. I hit it with the heat gun. And it should work better. <laughs> okay. Well, I know the other one will work out pretty, regardless, if I didn't use the bottles, because it did the last time when I did that scribble stuff. to be perfect, obviously. <laughs> You'll see that I don't want to still turn out pretty. Oops, I forgot this one. Okay, so I'm going to pour that into something else. The coaster when I'm done. Um, did I mention that it's best to use not too too high of coasters? That's why I'm going half on this one because I realized when I did the other one that was a good thing that I didn't go all the way up. Because they spread too much. I just think it's oh, okay. Okay. Check for hairs. And I will put a second coat on these too. Because they're not all the way to the top. They don't have to be, but I want them to be tall ones. And hopefully the bottoms look pretty. So there we go. So uh, stay tuned for the unmolding. <laughs> be very interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> here we are. Oh my gosh, I was sitting here and I'm thinking... I was looking at some other YouTube videos of people doing these. I'm like, mine has got to be the most craziest. Uh, 
video out there. It's got to be. <laughs> this one and that other one I did, the same colors. I'll have to get the other one too to look at it compared to this one. Anyway, so I'm thinking this turned out really pretty. I put a top coat on this so it's all the way up to the rim. These here, still just maybe a tiny bit soft, not much though. But uh, filled it up a little too much. Like I said, the more thicker they are, the more this doesn't work. It seems to work better with shallow molds, what I have found out. Anyway, I was going to put another coat on here just to finish up that mold. See, because there's a little gap. But I'm hoping I'm going to like the bottom. If not, I can always pour another coat of resin on here. You know, file this down a little, put a coat of resin or something. Because it's sticking up just a little bit in there. Anyway, let's take a look. Here we go. <laughs> this one's nice and hard. Look how big it is. Look how it turned out. The wispiness on the ends are pretty. So yeah, it doesn't have that, you know, shape, shape like a lot of <laughs> ones do. But I'm going to have fun here. <laughs> it's like Monica Barnes always says, like Christmas time. <laughs> and it is. Oh, cool. It's nice and clear. Now, just that one mark from this mold. <laughs> but I'm not going to let something a little tiny bug me. Okay. Oh, look at that mold. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that pretty? Got little pieces here and there. All right. It is pretty. Oh, man. Isn't that something? And I like that silver. Just looks like a little fluffy gathering in the middle of the flower. Let's look at the top for a minute or two here. It's just gorgeous. Okay. Oh, it's prettier. It's more defined. It has the 3D totally bottom, medium, top. Oh, I couldn't be more happier with it. Looks like feathers. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So where's that mark at? Uh, I don't see the mark. There it is. A little gap there. Yeah, I'm probably going to pour a coat on the top of this. That's all. You just put some stuff on the bottom to protect it. Lay it down, pour a coat of resin on it. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that pretty? See, it's just a little mark. They come scuffed up like that from Amazon. It's the way they pack them. It was all folded up. Isn't that pretty, though? So, yeah, I'm totally loving this side. And I will have to just put one little coat on the top. And that would turn out really nice. A little bit of micro bubbles in there. That's all right, though. Okay. So I had leftovers in those bottles. I went ahead and did one of these. It's kind of neat how it has this looks like a crack, but that was the clear epoxy. I put in first. 
Isn't that neat? A little spoon dish or something for the kitchen. I have a whole bunch of those now. All right. So let's take a look at this. I'll put this on the top. So to protect it. I just don't like pieces getting on it. Because then you got to pick them off. This one's a little soft still, but I figure why put another coat when they're already thick enough? Right on. <laughs> so I do love this side. That's pretty neat. That's different. Whoa, looks like cells or like a honeycomb or something. What a trip. So there we go, that's matching. <laughs> it's fun. So this one was a little thicker. So you wanna get that wispy effect, make it thin. Well, you know, it all depends upon the resin you use too. So I can't say that's for sure. But that's cool. Very neat. Yeah, I like this side. It's cool. I don't have to. I can just put little feet on it. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm going to do another one of these. But completely different. Yeah, these are neat. Because you know what? They don't have to be like exact. They're different. Because that, they're thicker, see? So I could put silver on the sides. Or just leave it as is. But that's nice. This one's nice and clear. Got the micro bubbles out of these. But it's this one here I didn't focus on as much. Well, there it is. That's kind of crazy. They're neat. It's not really like that one, though. This one is the bomb. And that's the one I messed up with. I'm using the bags. Isn't that funny? Well, there she blows. <laughs> so I'm really happy with that. I'll take some pictures, post it at the end of this video. They'll also be on my Facebook business page. Um, the link is in my description to that if you want to see clearer photos instead of at the end. And this has been fun. So I got some other things in mind. I'm kind of on the roll this week, so that feels good to be back to painting and stuff and I'm feeling good. It's remarkable, my hip is doing good. I don't know, the stretching, the little exercises that I've been doing every day and the naproxen just helping big time. So I'm delighted with that and I hope everybody else is doing great. So I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.